Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, y'all. And yeah, I'm I'm Santa's favorite. Right? You didn't know that? It's the truth. Um, it's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm uh, my brother's going to pick me up in uh, about an hour, and we're going somewhere. There's been all kinds of activities about where we're going and the place we're going to go. More people are coming. I couldn't fit them, so. We shall see. Number one, I am trying a new ADHD medicine. And what's very interesting is my doctor managed to get me actual Adderall. 30 time release. So when you switch to kind of a new medicine like that, it can make you jittery. If that makes sense. Like you've had too much coffee. I really should not be having coffee until my body gets used to it. And it makes me very emotional. And I'm feeling tired and overwhelmed. So I'm regrouping with y'all. So I got up, you'll have seen, and started to triage my kitchen. I have been dumping stuff on my table. So this is combination Stuff I've gotten, Trader Joe's haul, stuff that needs to be put away, things that need hot glue, things that need batteries, that kind of thing. So what I want to do now um, is start with this. And then I am, um, I've got a couple hauls to do. I'm going to do that and get that stuff put away. And um, organize, this is for the tree, this is to put out, that kind of thing. And then like I have one area I want to decorate, like I have stuff I pulled out from my mom's friend, Nellie, which means I need to, I haven't talked to him in a while. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to get it to them between Christmas. So just, you know, I'm like, okay, one fire at a time, right? Put one out completely instead of half putting out a couple, right? That's my thinking process. And then the other most important thing is I'm going to organize everything I'm returning. Target, I don't know, you know, you can't pack, you can't print out a packing slip anywhere. You have to do it on the app. You know what? I'm having my phone charged. It's going to be up to them to figure out what I'm returning and what order it came from. I got two orders of the same thing, basically. And then um, Walmart, I don't have tons of Walmart, but some Walmart. And then I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree to get stuff for the food bank. I have two little bows I don't like. I'm going to just trade them in towards something for that. And I think that's it. Yeah. And um, my last Trader Joe's. And probably my divided up in two. I still haven't filmed posting my other ones, y'all. I'm redoing my tear tray for Christmas. I got my um, almost all my autumn put away and, and Thanksgiving. I don't have a lot, so it's easy. It all fits in that cupboard. So I'm going to wait until I've sconed, sconed, not scanned, but sconed the whole house and make sure I got everything before I go back up on my chair. But that's what's going on, y'all. That's what's going on. And, um, yeah. So I hope you guys had a lovely time, survived. Today's a new day. If you're lucky, right? Um, even if you don't feel lucky, today's another day. Um, but, yeah. One of my old, older friends um, who I picked up to take the Thanksgiving is she had heart she has heart issues and she has she was in the hospital for a few days and she's one of the most vivacious energetic people like she walks four miles she garden I mean she's always busy she's always taking classes she's always you know we met she's a good good reader anyway she's not looking great yeah I mean being in the hospital especially when you're older is hard. Um, especially with heart issues, you know, you just get tired and she's not somebody who's used to that. So she's got to, you know, take it easy, which she said she can do. So prayers for her. But yeah, you know, it's always emotional. Um, I do believe I will have to take a Xanax before I leave. Actually, I'm going to pause. I'm going to do that right now. So I don't forget. Okay. So it's not Xanax, it's Ativan. And I promise you I'm very, very careful with it. Um, what... Well, how, and it's a 0.5 it's it's a tiny amount and um i have them i haven't gotten a prescription in you know over two years maybe 
Um, but you know, just too much going on for me right now in the holidays and I feel like crying right now, so this will help. So basically what it does is, um, for me, it's different for everyone. I am not, it's between you and your doctor, you and yourself, but I am, um, it takes the edge off so I don't want to cry. I can eat. I just feel kind of like myself. So it doesn't make me feel all happy or give me pep or energy or anything like that. Just, just like that. So, but in this new, um, I touched a little bit on it yesterday that my shopping a couple, two weeks here was crazy, but you know, i made a video. Yeah. A really good, honest video for myself talking about, you know, what was going on, what, what is our, what do we want in our lives, right? Because what you do today shows up tomorrow. So I made a couple videos for myself to watch because, you know, uh, it's not because I declared I don't want to do this. It's, it's not over. It's just insanely stressful stuff coming up. So that's what I've done. And um, actually my goal today, y'all, is, and I'm going to hop on with y'all later and talk about it, is because of the anxiety, I want to walk. That's what I need to do is walk. My good friend Mary just said anything, you know, walking has saved her mental health life. So I know this, y'all, and I know y'all are great about it. So I'm going to take a, like a little 15 minute walk, get some fresh air. It's not freezing cold, you guys. It's a little rainy. I have a raincoat. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a break. So when I get back from La Familia, I might do like a haul and then go ahead and start organizing that. And then the other thing I'm going to do is slowly all day today, anything that's not Christmas is going down in my library, you know, um, or at my studio probably because I'm trying to keep my library clear enough so I can hop on the treadmill. So these are my goals for today. And then I work next two days. If I had a day off tomorrow, it'd be a lot easier, but I don't. And then I'm off Monday and then Monday I got to hit the ground running. So. I got to find a good balance of getting stuff done, relaxing, but my emotional health is number one. And if I need to pack everything up for Christmas and put it away, I will. I will. Maybe it's too much. I don't know. I don't want it to be too much, but maybe it is. Maybe no tree this year. Maybe just having my Santas out and some kind of my fun things like that is enough. I don't know. So we're gonna see. We're gonna. I'm gonna let myself. It's a fine line between setting goals and making plans and trying to force something that's not happening organically. Or I don't know. I mean, sometimes you need to like inspiration comes when you're working, right? So um, I don't know. I think the tree might be too much. I do believe so. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on that. And then, um, but just have all my other fun stuff out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that feels right. That feels doable and that feels comfortable. And then next year I can do a tree. Yeah. And then I'm taking everything down slowly. I'm not gonna rush myself down to my studio and dump it for now. And I need my first floor clean and organized and looking good. And then, um, you know, I think once I get everything out that doesn't belong here, um, I can do a de little decluttering. I'm, I'm kind of towards the end of it, actually, in the living room. I got a bunch of alcohol I want to give my nephew, um, but I'm trying to snackle him here in December. So that's what I'll give him. I'm going to go through. I have too much. I'm not going to use it. And really, maybe... One of my friends likes alcohol or wine, actually. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that. That will make me feel good. I'm just going to put it in the garage and then he can come grab it. And he'll use it responsibly. He's a good kid. Him and his girlfriend, are, they're good people. So that's my plan, y'all. And um, yeah, I'm okay. I am. Again, I told myself, you know, just because you move forward doesn't mean it's easy. Doesn't mean it always feels good. It just needs to be done. It just does. So, yeah, and then I want to um, think of some meal plans for this week because this is going to be a crazy week. 
just gonna be crazy I need to have some food for tomorrow and Sunday so I need to look see what I have um, and then so Saturday and Sunday work Monday I'm off all kinds of craziness Tuesday they're having a party for us at work which is gonna be so emotional it's gonna be crazy so I need to sort of maybe I need to that's my later day no that's not Tuesday's not my no 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 that's my early day okay Maybe at some point you need to sneak out and have a walk just to, yeah. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. All of that's doable. Just gonna be very careful going up and down the stairs. I know I ordered some stuff from Target, right? Wrapping papers. I didn't order, I didn't mean to order two, so I don't know what happened with this double order, but um, they sent, honestly, boxes I could fit into with one or two things of, of this rolling paper. It's, I will never do this again. It's the hugest waste. My foyer is insane. Actually, that's gonna be one of the first things I do. I'm gonna clear that up so it's easy. Hold on, y'all, I'm getting a phone. My brother, he's on his way in 10 minutes, so we're early people. It's a little earlier than I planned, but that's fine. I need to get everything down. Oh, we're gonna stop by the food bank. So I have this tree I don't like. Someone's gonna love it. I have this, like that house for Clara. I think some kid could play with dolls in it, actually. She's not using it. Um, uh, Beverly gave me a whole bag of sweet potatoes. I kept one. And then um, she has two bags of like new clothes that we can put in the gift pile. So, and I told my brother if he had anything he wanted to drop off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably stop now and um, get my water and my drink ready. And um, do a couple things so I can come back and um, Go through my Trader Joe's. And I keep telling myself, you know, Trader Joe's is always going to be there. Seasonal stuff is coming back. It is. I want to get that flyer and go over it with y'all. I don't want to talk it through. Um, I'm trying to think right now. There's a couple things I want to try, but I want to try more foodie things, not necessarily the chocolates. I there's not really I got those gingerbread cookies that those are insanely good I got some molasses cookies so may I don't know y'all I'm trying to think what am I gonna bring Tuesday you guys do I bring food do I bring do I make muffins I mean what am I gonna do I have to think about it and see what I feel like I don't have to bring anything but of course I want to I am Liz Johnson's child after all I am I am Oh, and let's see how creative I can be, you guys. With my food, what's going on, you know. And the other thing I want to do, because um, I want to send stuff out to my friends through work. So I am going to spend some time. I don't know if today, maybe Monday. And, um, you know, I want to make them, I've got um, the, and these are my my three friends that I worked with, you know, that were like super cool. I mean, I had to think of a name, a name for our, our team. The Golden Girls, that's it, there's four of us, the Golden Girls, because we always talk about that time we were together was like a golden time, and you know it, sometimes you, I knew it because I had experienced it before early in my career, where it's just every, not that it's perfect, but everyone had works together, works hard, plays hard, shares food, just has each other's back, um, and then to experience it again, and literally, Michelle started as my mom was in the hospital like I she was so good to me I literally could not process so I could not process paperwork stuff like that and she helped me do what I needed to do and then Cindy started and they never knew my mom which is crazy so it was amazing the support I got and it bonded us you know but we all share food and they're just all we're all kind of wonderful in a different way you know we we have this nucleus of you know of good goodness right and then we're all like you know this you know Michelle's sort of the I don't know it just you know Cindy's our New Yorker and she's always got she's always the one to call me about you you know did you know you did this check this out and then um Sandy's super gentle and I love all their kids and their spouses and um it's just amazing they're they're animals so I want to get so I'm not going crazy, but I'm going to do um, this. You know what, y'all? They may watch this. 
As a matter of fact, they should be watching this, y'all, and liking, commenting. Sandy, Michelle. Cindy's usually good about commenting. I'm going to stop right here. You don't be surprised. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I'm going to get that out next week. And then, like, my cleaning crew that's at another branch, I'm going to send it to their supervisor because one of them wants, like, every stuffed animal I have and all Christmas stuff. So I, I it's going to be very hard for me to sit down and figure out what the others want. So I'm just going to make a couple boxes and send them out with some stuffed animals, some of my Christmas stuff. Um... When I'm at the Dollar Tree, I'm going to get them some, I already got them coloring books, so I want to get some crayons, um, and just a few fun things. Now, my one, Catherine, she loves, and she watches, hey, Catherine, I've like, got some stuff coming, but she, um, I think I'm going to start with this, and then when I see Catherine again, which I will, I'll, um, I'm going to start saving stuff for her that, you know, she can decorate her room with, or, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to think about it. That would be super fun for me. And who knows, I, I, you know, I don't know where she's at exactly or what the COVID policies are, but uh, maybe I'll bring it to her, take her to lunch or do something nice like that. That would actually be fun. That would make me happy. Um, so yeah, so that's what's happening. And speaking of COVID, I'm going to get my mask, you guys, I'm going to do my best. I do not want to get COVID. I have, you know, two older people in my life. They're super important and I just can't, can't. So I'm going to wear a mask. And um, I'm not even just, you know, it, it just, I don't want the flu, right? I don't want whatever the heck that respiratory thing is, but now they think that's related to COVID. So I just don't want anything. So I'll do that. And I can eat, I mean, I'm probably not going to eat a lot anyway, so I can do that and take the rest home. You do what you do, right? You do what's comfortable for you. You don't feel like you need to wear a mask? What cracks me up, y'all, is people, we give away masks and test kits, right? At most libraries are doing that. Not all. So check your local library. Don't say, oh, yeah, my friend Tracy said no, no, no. Check, check, check. But, um, and people will come in to get masks, not wearing a mask. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just for when they go to a restaurant or out shopping or something like that, you guys. Okay, so I am probably going to wait and not post until later. My thing took all day long to post yesterday, y'all. I did that first thing in the morning. I did it, I tried to start at 10 o'clock. I think it went up nine at night, something like that, I don't remember. But yeah, okay guys, so I will I will bring you back and um, let me think about this. We're gonna start number, let me write this down, y'all, because I'll come home and be a totally different person. Totally different person. We're gonna see, I feel like I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. But Adderall, slows me down but also it takes a while to get used to it so it can excite me to is, is something else we're going to do um all the recycling in my foyer and then what i'm going to do is so much is i don't want to go up and down wet stairs i'm going to get my car i'm going to drag it around and then i'm going to get some gas and get in my mailbox right then i'm going to come and i'm going to do my trader joe's haul Inventory put away. Now in between this, I'm going to bring stuff downstairs. And there's room in my studio because I started to clear out and also look for my Christmas um, kind of cookie things, cookie tins and um, little fun packaging I have to put little gifts together. And then the thing I want to do is, um, and I'm going to do the, I have a Michael's haul. And actually, I should do the Walmart hard, broken it up, because there might be a couple things I want to return. Um, and then I want to do packaging gifts and find Christmas cards. Because I can work on my Christmas cards at work. Sounds like a lot, right? So really, the halls are important because I can put stuff away. Because it's very hard, y'all. I think, was it Patty, did you say? that, Or Donna, that is so all of you really probably think it's so hard to declutter and my goal now is to get a roommate close so um and i think i try to have cookie parties and if i can get a couple cookie parties no one's bringing anything we're gonna eat on my freezer y'all whatever's in my freezer that's what we're eating cookie party slash eat tracy's freezer down yeah so i think that's a good amount um this might you know really I just have to get the hauls done because I want everything I'm returning ready in my car to go. I got to find the receipt, y'all. Target, I don't need a receipt. Probably not going to return Michael's. Um, 
but they'll always give you credit towards something, but I don't want to do that either. So I don't know, I'm going to think about it, you guys, and just see what goes. And um, But yeah, Monday, no matter what the hell's happening, y'all, returns. And I'm going to buy all this stuff for the food bank. I'm going to be, you know, I become very excited and want to buy and do more than I can. And, you know, Beverly is doing half of it. I'm doing half of it. So I'm going to, going to be a little bit more focused and not so wild about it. But yet, you know, I, I want to honor my family by, you know, helping other people family have a great Christmas. I think that's amazing, right? I think that's, we all should do this. So I love gifts. Y'all, I'm a mess. I love fun, shiny, cute things. It's like, I just want to move past that and appreciate them, but not need to own them, you guys. And then soon I'm going to do, just I want to zhuzh up my bookcases in the library. Uh, I mean, in the kind of dining room area. I'm not going to get, I mean, there's some I can let go of and just make it a little less cluttered, not clutter free, but you know what I mean? Just a little visually interesting. It's a lot to do y'all, but thank you guys. Your support means everything. And the lack of judgment is so wonderful. And I think it's, you know, there's support, there's, you know, things to say, hey, you know, and it, you know, it doesn't even feel like constructive criticism. It just feels like it's done with love and you're showing me something that I know, but I'm not seeing at that moment. And I appreciate that a lot. It really does help me think through things. And I think about everything you guys say to me and, um, and all this support is so wonderful, but it's such a, I want to say a lonely process, but it's such a personal journey, right? Um, yeah. But I, but I, you know, I seek support and like, I have friends who probably think that's a weakness that in, I, I don't even understand the concept of it. I don't, I mean, I, did we not learn during the pandemic? we all need each other, right? And that doesn't mean we all have that around us, but we need it. And I seek it out and I ask for it. And, um, I'm proud of myself for that. It's not, people think that's maybe a weakness or no it's truly to make yourself vulnerable and to do that it's easy to be angry or just like eh. That's, but to actually make yourself vulnerable and seek help and reach out and even if people don't reach back to you somebody else will like i feel like it's it's just like art when you start you end up somewhere else that you couldn't imagine when you sat down on to do the page right um but yeah, and really, if I can get most of this stuff out, I can have a nice little space. One, I have a puzzle I want to do with y'all too, and just do little short collages every day with a handful of crap, and that's it. Just to get my, yeah, because it's going to be a year of creativity, art, and creativity comes from making space for creativity, and um, yeah, and I, I really, I got to email Nellie. I just, in my head, I'm thinking, when am I going to meet them? But you know what? It will work out. I'm just going to, because I have some fun stuff and something she really will matter to her for Christmas. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And who knows? Maybe they can come to me. So yeah, maybe that's, I could do invite them over for lunch. That, my mother, oh my God, my mother would be so happy. Okay, guys, you take care. And, um, I am thankful. For each and every one of you even if you don't comment you don't subscribe you don't like anything you're getting something from this or you're checking on me or whatever it is I appreciate it and um, you know reach out anytime and like again on Instagram I'm crying y'all see I needed this I needed me an out of band but anyway um, just reach out say hey right I mean um, Sometimes, you know, helping others and listening to other people's stories. And I don't know, I'm super intuitive. I don't, I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if I necessarily need to label it. But there's just a knowing I have, like with my friend, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but my friend Judy, she, um, I texted her like, hey, you know, we're thinking this time, let me know, um, kind of thing. And, you know, sometimes she has books at the library. And I'm like, let me know if you want me to grab your books or not. And um, she didn't text me back. That's insanely unusual. I called one morning. I call her sometimes on my way to work to talk. She left a message, didn't hear from her. And I thought she's, I thought, this was my thought. If she's in the hospital and something's really wrong, how are they going to contact me? Like I really, and she was, she was in the hospital. So it kind of works like that. I don't know. I just get a sense of something. Um, but I did ask her now, write my name and phone number down on your emergency contacts because I want to know. 
I mean, you know, you're in the hospital for three days. You don't want visitors more than likely. You're sick. They're figuring something out. And I get that. But I just need it. I just need to know. I just need to know. You know what I mean? Like if I just actually, I'm going to set this up with my nephew or maybe Michelle or my friend Sue. Probably Sue. If something happened to me, I would want her to have access so she could do a video and update you guys, right? So, okay, nothing's going to happen there, right? Never to be seen again. No, my house needs to be under control before anything happens to me. Okay, guys, I'll just check in later. Welcome, it is Tracy, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I'm here with some family, y'all. And um, we're at the IHOP, and what better place to have a day after Thanksgiving than the IHOP? So we're gonna go by age order. So we're gonna start with my um, older brother. All right, guys. <laughs> Action. Jackson, go. Hey, I'm Mark. I'm a big fan of my sister's <laughs> YouTube channel. I'll be watching it. You okay, guys, we're, everybody, check it out. We're gonna hang on and see how long his nose gets. Okay, and then we got the oldest child of him. That's Hello, Carrie everyone. Nicole. Hi. She's fresh from the big streets of New York City. And then we, you guys, have met Bailey and Zachy. So I'm here with good people and having good food. Hey guys, my brother and I stopped in Home Goods. I was looking for a mug and at the coffee, and I wanted a dish towel. So I'm just taking some video as I'm walking around. It almost was too much. It was just crazy but they had you know um done a good job of putting certain things together now we're going to come up to santa he's sleeping because he's checking his list y'all i would have wanted angela would have bought me that for 100 percent. but anyway we just enjoyed him and it wasn't crazy at all there was no really i could tell black friday sales you know i didn't really see anything um but yeah, it was just kind of fun to, you know, look around, see what's there, knowing I wasn't going to buy anything. I did really like that Santa. I liked him a lot. How cute is he? Maybe next year. But so much, so much, so much. And, um, I, you know, they, everything's cute. And I kept telling myself, Tracy, you cannot have everything. You have to pick. You have to choose. Um, and I've already done that. All right, now that I like, I kind of got something like that from Amazon. It's broken, but I'm going to try to fix it. Um, that will be starting December 1. And little villages. I like that star in the back. It's a tree topper. I thought that was cute. Um, well, I mean, just uh, um, it's just insane what people think of. And I try to go down and show the floor when people are around. I don't want to show people. So really cool. This is all the rage now. This felted garland, just beautiful. See, I try to, um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to do that to people on camera. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just thing after thing after thing. And uh, not my favorites, y'all. This right here, not my favorites, but for some people's decor, it's just beautiful. Yeah, don't know. I mean, look at that little unicorn girl. Just fun little ornaments. I don't need ornaments. Um, I can't wait to go thrifting. And that's going to be my Christmas shopping from now on. Is, oh, I love that white tree with the red lights. But yeah, it's just going to be about, you know, finding stuff. that's like, you know, much reasonably priced. The candies and the peppermint and the, you know, I can't. Marshmallows, hot chocolate, cookies. That thing was really cool. It didn't have a price on it, but, you know, my God, I don't need that. But in my fantasy world, you know, I'm a mother of uh, four children, four boys, maybe, right? I would have that for them. The tree skirts were gorgeous. I mean, really, truly gorgeous. Unbelievable. I just think of the ones we had as a kid growing up. But I love that kind of red and white one. Look like just neat linen. That was beautiful. It has joy. So there's a lot out there, you guys. But I, there were no fantastic sales. I, they were just their normal prices. So I was looking for some Starbucks coffee, or they have sometimes some unusual coffee. 
Um, it's so funny. I was always anti Starbucks, but now I love it. So I don't really use the syrups. Look at that. That was kind of more healthier stuff. So we moved away from that quickly. Try not to make you dizzy. Jams and all kinds of stuff. Uh, treats. And I wasn't really getting anything for like taste tests or anything. Um, again, look at all this. I mean, just it's everything's it's just unbelievable, really. But I won't be back in here anytime soon. But it was kind of fun. And showing my brother some stuff and um yeah just everything look at that but ray dunn y'all ray dunn is everywhere we are living in her world i don't get it i mean like i have that one i got at a thrift store but i i just don't know you know i don't like matchy matchy so why would you want but you just, everything was Ray Dunn. I was just looking for a cool mug that wasn't Ray Dunn, you know? Um, but this is really good place to come get housewares. Um, look at my finger, you guys, I apologize. But there's so many people around me with the Ray Dunn stuff. I did, and I really try not to film people, but here's just some regular mugs. I like that orange mug. I didn't even notice that when I was there. But I don't really need mugs. This was a, a mystery, you know, machine from Scooby-Doo. I don't know how you would drink all that mug. You just, you, you couldn't. You just couldn't. But they have the kind of mugs I like, the big old mugs. But just, that whole, you couldn't see, but on the a whole other side was people. I like that faith, trust, and pixie dust. But yeah, I mean, some of the things are cute, but I, I don't know. I just don't want everything to look like that. Every color you can imagine. I like that Santa. He was cute. Um, you know, that was a nice mug, but I didn't need the spoon. Look at the little strawberry. That I thought was very pretty. <clears throat> but don't need plates. Don't need any of this. I can't wait for you to see the paper plates I got at Walmart. They're just so funny. But again, snowman stuff. Just, I really... It, it suits everyone's taste. I mean, you're gonna. I think somebody could find something there that they liked. But you know, to add one or two things to my collection each year is really what I'm gonna try to do. But you know, don't judge my hauls coming up. But there were some more coffee, so I found um, one Starbucks on there that I wanted. Uh, but look at all the hot chocolate i mean it, you know if you know someone they like k-cups what a nice yeah. gift i mean in uh, brands i've never heard of and i didn't like like really take time to look yeah. look i was just and kind of scanning to see if i could see a starbucks get get from my friends. All kinds and um i don't think How i found it there been? there's my brother we went shopping in a store together um probably <clears throat> yeah Anything? just i mean you can't even, right? Mm -hmm. Like napkins. I don't need napkins. Mm -hmm. I don't get candles. Um, this was the kind of checking out line, you know. They have so much to look at, you guys. And sometimes the line just goes too fast and you cannot see everything that's going on. Pretty little fake flower stuff, you know. This is where I end up getting my um, my things that I got. My um not my table cost my hand towel so um it looks like that's it but i will show you guys what i got